Tandaan natin na, ang Biblia ay hindi yan nagpapawal sa Talaga, kailangan lang natin ang pagkakaroon. Okay. Who is the, the image of the invisible God? Genesis 1 to 8, 6, diba? Napakilawa na. Diyan lang kita. Who is the image? Who is God? Okay, so tayo yung Genesis 1 to 8, 6, ha? Diyan sa Colossus 1 to 15. Okay, maliwanag. Okay, sinabi ko kanina, tuloy tayo sa... Uh, the true faithful witness and the declarative of Jesus Christ and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Gamitin din natin din Revelation 3.14. Okay, Revelation 3.14. Okay ha, maliwanan ngayon Colossians 15 tsaka Genesis 1.26 ha. The faithful witness, okay. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans right. This one. Ano ka rinay, di ba? Sabi sa inyo, Heavenly Angels yan. Verse 14 yan. Okay. Uh, this thing say, the Amen, the faithful and true witnesses. Yung Revelation 1.5, sister. Oh, Revelation 1.5. Okay. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness? Amen? The first begotten of the dead. Protocols. Okay. Is the witness uh, ten alive? No. Look at what she said. Proverbs fourteen five. If the witness ten alive, he is not true witness. Okay. A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. Okay. So let's go. John 4.34 Tutunguhin na natin ang ating Panginoon Yesu Cristo. Siya na mismo mapapaliwanag na lang. John 4.34 Jesus said unto them, My will is to do the will of Him that sent me and to finish His work. Okay. Kung sa Genesis 1.26 may pinabara ka kama, may logos sa John 1.1 no? Siya pa na rin ang mapapatuloy lang ito. To finish his work with father. Okay? John 5.20 Okay, let's John 5.20 Okay, for the father loving the son, he showed him all things that he said through it. And He will show you greater works than this that He may marvel. Ano yun? Anong ibig sabihin doon? Greater works that He marvel. You know, why greater? Because God molded man in His own image by His Son. Iba ba mo? Show mo. Verse 36. Ito yung greater works ay yung marvel niya. Verse 36. Okay. But I have greater witness. Yun. And that of John for the words that give me to finish the same words that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. Okay? Yun yung greater marble. Kaya hindi mapaniwalaan ng mga tao nung time na yan. The greater words because uh, in verse 37 taas pa ng Christian. And the Father Himself which has sent me hath borne witness of me. He have neither heard His voice at any time, nor seen His shape. You know, John 1, 18 na binanggit natin ganyan na. So, Christ, Angel, and even us, the man. Pakipo ka, sister, 2.10 ng Ephesians. 2.10 ng Ephesians. Okay. Yung binabanggit ko dito lang yung kanina. At even as, lahat na tumanggap, lahat na nakarinig ng tulay na salita ng Diyos, ay kaganap na ginaganap ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Diba? Yun yung nakasulat sa John 14 verse, o, oh, sulat niya tayo. Ephesians 10. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained, 
that we should walk in them. Okay? So, nakakaroon ng liwanag yung likeness and image, no? So, yung totoong gumawa ng tao, kayo yung ama. And then, yung minomold naman ng ating Panginoong sa Kristo ngayon is yung karawan. So, pamamakita ni Yesu Kristo, tayo ay namomol sa larawan ng ating ama. Okay? So, pwede kong tawagin yun, no? Procreator. Okay. Mabasa. Kasi yung katumbali ni Brother Francis before si Brother Martin is co-creator. Sa akin yung procreator, why? Procreator, pro means yung pro, yung sabihin adjective. Adjective. Uh, use with the name of person. Ginagamit niya yung pangalan ng isang persona. Okay. May talata ko tayo dyan, pero John 10. 25. Jesus answered them, I told you, can you believe not the words that I do in my Father's name? Ayun, kaya may kapangyarihan ang pagmumol sa tao ngayon. So that, ito yung totoong uh, pag-create ng likeness and image ng Diyos dito sa lupa. Hindi si Adam, hindi yung mga nakarang tao. Kung hindi, kailangan muna maihatid sa time frame sa tamang panahon si Kristo na makarating para yung likeness and image ay totoong lumabas. Okay? Verse 37, I am verse 32, sister. Talong verse 32. Verse 32. Jesus answered, There, many good words have I showed you from my fathers, for which of those words do you know me? Okay. The words that I do in my father's name, you know why? Because there is a power. Now, let's go back to Genesis 1.6. And Genesis 2. Week 26, week 7, and yes, let's ask all our masters. Yun yung tinanong natin kanina, no? Sa Matthew 9.3. Pinapatunayan ng ating uh, Panginoong Isong Cristo na ang lumalang sa may KP may ay ang kanyang aman. Again, this is what we did, what we did. He did not read that he which made them at the beginning, made them male and female. Okay. John 1.3, sister. John 1. Okay. All these were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Okay. Ito yung napakagandang talata eh. No? Medyo maraming paliwanag dito. No? Pero mayaan natin ang scripture ng paliwanag. Sabi nga rito, All things were made by Him. You know what a beautiful verse, no? So we understood this verse. It is a reason. It is a purpose. It's not another creator. He is a logos of God of John 1.1. It's the beginning. Yung beginning, Greek, is Archie. Okay? Yung beginning, Archie. Sino yun? Ang, ang, ang ibig sabihin sa Greek yung Archie, ang, 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 uh, uh, ano nito is Christ. Okay? Yung beginning pala, sinasabi nga nito sa kanil, I am, I am, The first and the last. Pwede, pwede natin kadap. Okay, kasi ipinamahan na sa lahat, sa lahat-lahat sa ating Panginoon. Okay. Sa time frame, in the scripture is absolute to understand the mystery of Almighty God. The omnipotent, the omnipotent, the creator, the omniscient, the omnipresent, the self-existent, the eternal, Without beginning, without end. Without father, without father. Eh, ating Panginoong Isong Cristo, may father ba? Pakibuksan mo nga si Sir John, chapter 20. Conversion. Seventeen. Okay, John 7, 20 verse 17. Okay, Jesus unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascend to my father. Ayun, may father pala siya, no? But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father, and to my God and your God. Okay? Yung God sa Genesis 1.26, yun din yung father niya, yun din yung God niya. So, hindi si Cristo yun. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng Christ? Sister, meron ba niyang ano? Very poor, yung Christ. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nakita natin ko ang ibig sabihin ng Christ. Sa Tagalog, it's to me. Kasi lahat ng binabasa natin is, kaya nga sabi natin na, uh, our beloved God had the purpose, had the, had the reason, had the plan. So lahat may meaning. Yun, Christos. Ano yung ibig sabihin? Christ meaning. Ano yung thing? What's the Messiah? The Son of God. Hindi na yung Son. Hindi pwede maging creator na kasi Son of God siya. Pagkaman siya ay pro-creator sa tao, sa Genesis 1.26, sa Genesis 1.26, pro-creator siya doon sa man. But the old days, even Adam, hindi naman natin pwede So, ay yun yung Asayas 24, uh, 44-24, you know? Nakita naman natin doon, yung Lord doon, is si Yehovah, si Yahweh, si Yah. The vision of existence, the Almighty. Wala na. Ano yun? Lahat yun, ipapamamana sa anak niya. Ipapamamana sa anak niya. So, kung, kung sa Genesis 1-26, yung kausap doon, si Cristo, at yung kausap din, yung lumalak, Eh. Okay. Ina ko pa. Eh, hindi pa matagal pa 'to. Bigatin sa Lord door Jesus Christ. Yung sinabi ko pa rin kanina. Merong tatlong titulo si Kristo. Nung nung nabuhay na sa salita. The three titles of Christ to know Him deeply. Son of God, wala na kang pagtatalo yun. This is Christ, the Son of God. Acts 8, 37. Pagkakasang natin siya. Para makita. And then after this, mabasa ako sa kung sa ating mga kapatid is FYI information ng mga hindi nababasa sa sa booklet ni Brother Brian. Acts 8.37 And Philippi said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest in answer and say, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Okay? Number two is Son of Man. Mga title ni Christo. Kasi kung kagawin natin yung title ni Christo is Creator, Christ is Creator, matalag na ganyan isang dito doon yan. Okay? Kaya pinapakita ko to, Lucas 19.10 Okay, for the Son of Man is come to seek and save that which was lost. Son of Man. Okay, pangatlo. Matthew 22, 42. Son of David. Uh, for 22, verse 42. Say what think to me of Christ, whose Son is He? They say unto me, the Son of David. Okay, tatlong title na yan. Pag nilagay natin, Uh, this is Christ, great. Matatagdagan yung kanyang titulo. <coughs> okay. Gabasa lang ako rito, eh, hindi ko naman ubus yung oras ko. Para din nalang ako sa conclusion naman. Okay lang, basta gabasa ako na kanyang brother plan naman. Jesus Christ, the, yes, uh, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Chicago, uh, 52, 1952, 18 August, eh, no? 10. Okay. The germ of life to the child comes from the male sex. We know that, don't we? It's like a hen can lay an egg, but if she hasn't been with the male bird, it's not for. It's not for. Uh, uh, it's not for DLC. It would hatch. The germ of life comes from the male. So, the germ of life, in this case, come from Jehovah God. The father, sabi ni Brother Brunan to us. The father of Jesus Christ. The Creator. Okay? Alam na ang silaw na natin ang kaya parito ha? The father of Creator, siya lang yung egg, Jesus Christ. Okay? So, pwede naman. Ang kukusin na. 